Hi guys, it's Susanna Easdale here again. Um, I'm back with um, our first um, page. I've just sort of laid it out a little bit, but i um, just got a, a little bit of an idea of what I want to do for the month of December. And I've cut out January, February, March. So I want to do for the days. This is from Edith Holden. So... Um, I wanted to do that. What else have I got up here? I'm not a few bits and pieces. So I'm going to do a bit of mixed media here today. And I might need to do a, um, a double, like part one and part two. Um, so we'll just see how we go because this will be the first one. On the next ones, oh, look, I've pre-cut stuff, so these are not going to be a slow um, thing by any means. But um, so that I can uh, um, show you guys, I've sort of pre-cut out and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully I'll be loud enough. My voice is still a little bit uh, crickly. So I've just pre-cut out. This is from... Uh, Edith Holden and I think this one as well something to do with Christmas and even though this is from the the, the, Dece uh, the winter one because December is Christmas and also ivy is not primarily a Christmas plant but it's part of Christmas now so we'll just move that over I'm umming and ahhing whether I'm going to do a few bits and pieces so here's my base page okay so I'll just start by gluing that down actually I'm going to use some distress ink on the outside Oop. first I'm going to use green because it's um, my primary color that I've got is a green sort of base with the flowers and being Christmas and everything like that. Now, so you'll get a little bit of mixed media and all that kind of stuff that I'll do in with it. Okay, now. Good. Should have thought of that before I started. Okay, well, I might have enough to glue this on, and the rest of elements I could probably just use my uh, other glue. Okay. Oop. Okay. going to be a nice one I've, the reason why I'm starting in December and not January if you guys want to start in January that's up to you is because the season actually starts in December like for us for us it's um, summer that starts in December because it's a yearly and seasonal journal I'm gonna start in December um, and then next year that'll give us time I would like to probably do a December daily or something like that next year. I haven't done anything like that this year. But um, or I might even do 12 days of Christmas where I make something over the 12 days. First of 12 days of Christmas. 12 days leading to Christmas might be a bit too close to Christmas. So, yeah. Geez, it really does not smell pleasant. Okay. Hopefully that's in frame. There's going to be a fair bit of work done on this. Lots of gluing. 
and painting. Okay. Oh, that actually went okay. Not as bad as the first couple. So, the next tutorial that I do um, will be how to make the outside cover out of the um, that will actually cover the, the full journal have that ready so that we can stick out bits and pieces in the cover over the ear now we're going to be interesting to see how this goes that should be all right bit of painting so I've got a bit of pine green from Joe Sonia hopefully to come out without going everywhere oh, not looking too good been a while since I've used this one too busy making journals and not doing much uh, mixed media okay uh, hopefully, I might be able to get something out of there. There we go. Don't need a lot. I've got my blow dryer at hand. And then I've got Kazar Craft, Kazar Color Pistachio. Nice and runny. And then. I've got Jo Sonia's Rich Gold. Don't know how much is left in this. May not be that much, but I've got that other little one just in case. Well, since it's a Christmas page, well, December page, I might have a bit of gold yet. No, I think she's gone. So might be a little better. Yeah, there we go. A bit more in this one. I think it needs a good mixing. Oh, seen better days. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do, get a little bush. And then I'm going to give it a sort of a dry brush over the top. Enough so you can still see a little bit of the, uh, the writing underneath. But... Um, I sort of should have put a little bit more water with it. There we go. Yeah, because I still want to see the writing, but it doesn't matter if I get over the edges, that's all good. One good thing about old paper, it really soaks up, absorbs it. Okay, I think I need to like the darker colour better. And if I find that it's too dark, just dab some of it off. Most of it's going to be covered up by bits and pieces anyway and then I just want to do a few little scrapes around the outside it's the thing with mixed media what you got to realize is that it always looks worse before it looks better now this looks really junky but 
once that dries and you've got all the other stuff, you just need to see the elements underneath, which is what I want. Just a little bit, so you can get that little bit of a shine coming through. Well, I might do it on the edges. Oh, careful, careful. Okay, now I'll get my blow dryer out. Looks like a big mess, doesn't it? But it's all good. Now, put my brush in there, put that up here, get out of the way, and then get my blow dryer out, and I'll mute it because I don't want it to be too loud. I mean, not muted, um, pause it while I dry it. Okay, that's already dry to touch, and you can sort of see the shimmer. It's already been 11 minutes. Wow, definitely going to be a two-parter. So, it's already got that little bit of crinkly on the other side. So now we've got our base. Um, I might go, when it's finished, around the outside with a bit of um, distress, distress, distress. Distress oxide all depends what how it turns out. Okay, now this is for the fun bit the bit where we um, You know might get get out a bit of gold and all that kind of stuff at towards the Outside so Hopefully I'm loud enough I'll, uh, Put the paint down there Okay now now to remember that little butterfly I cut out from there because uh, December for us is is um is summer, so I um already I've got a couple of these books so I've pre-cut. Oh my goodness, where's this? There we go. I'm going to grab another one of these soothers. Hopefully I can talk and suck on one of these at the same time. Okay, my throat still isn't better. So I'm getting out some of the summer, summer stuff. Now I was umming and ahhing whether I actually colour that in in the green or not. Hmm. I've got something else. Where are we? There we go. Oh, I'll be back. I'm coming. I right, will try this. Okay, an extra march. And and maybe see if it'll work with the paints. might work just to add a bit of color to it I reckon well that takes okay hmm. yeah I think I'm gonna do that might need a touch more green Because December is a little longer than March. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Okay. Well, what I might do is I'll. Um, you can watch me do the D, and then I'll press the pause and um, do the rest because you don't want it to be too boring for you. One good thing about the old, the old paints in the old papers, they do 
take paint pretty well. Okay, well, I'll just pause and then I'll um, I'll be back. Okay, I'm done. But I also tried on this. I'm going to dip in a little finger on that. I'm going to go around there in gold. Because I think that would be nice. One thing about mixed media. Nice and hands on. Okay. So I might even do this around the outside of the um yep. Where's my paint? Uh, might do this around the outside of the actual Oh, good grief making it worse. There's a bit of water. That's what it needs. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so as I say, I was going to go maybe around the actual page. I might do this with the gold. So. That's why it's good to have do it once a month because you can sort of tie in with your theme. Um, maybe your birthday month you can probably do something. Okay. Apart from that little bit, I think it's all good. Okay. Clean my finger. Okay, let's set that aside to dry out a little bit. But, put that over. I quite like how that cat turns out. Cute. Now, back with our page. It's a lot dry now, which is good. So, that will go on there like that. Now, this, I was planning on to go, so that one will probably have to go first. I'm just wondering whether I go around the outside with green. Yeah. I think that'll work. Now I'll blend it in. Sometimes vintage photo or walnut stain isn't always the best. Gonna go with what works. Okay. Love Edith Holden papers, they're so pretty. Okay. I suppose it doesn't matter too much if I'm not talking that loud because it's fairly self-explanatory and watching what I'm doing. I think um, Wendy would like this one, Iris's. Okay. Not easy getting in there sometimes when they're this big. Get green all over here, all over the place. Okay, where did the lid go? There it is. So, that'll go there like that. And I think I was going to cut some of that off, even though. That ends on the word Christmas Day, so you don't, who says you have to have the whole lot? It was just a little on the big side. So that's going to go down there. Okay. Now, in December, 
is when spring goes and summer comes. So I'm going to put that one underneath the December, just on the top there. Then my little this time of the year we have got quite a few butterflies that come out. I just went away for our anniversary and there was all butterflies everywhere. So it's sort of like a residual from um from Christmas, not from Christmas, from um spring. Seems weird putting green on everything, but it'll blend in with the background. This is monarch monarch butterfly. That one's going over here. Now I just want to lay them all down again just so I know where everything's gonna go. Hopefully. And up high enough. Yep. Leave that on there, not bad. Now this is about, it was from um, Edith Holden. A um, little poem that she had in there. And had some Christmas dates, so I'll ink them. That's the date for Christmas. And then New Year's Eve. They'll go down on the bottom. Down here. Only because this is a song, but just a little bit of music paper. Put that across there like that. Still might fit that in. And then oh, this is going to be a lot harder to do inking, so I'll do it this way, I think. I probably should do it on the other side because I'll end up with green all over the back of my paper otherwise. Journal. May not be the easiest thing. Might even just go over it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, like I said, this is not necessarily a uh, a summer a summer um, plant in Australia but um, it's part of Christmas got to have the holly it's just how it goes even our decorations that we have around have got holly in it now turn that around and then we can start gluing I quite like this. It said, "Be blessed and be grateful." Um, which I think is very appropriate at Christmas time. We can take for granted that, you know, take things for granted. It'd be good to be always good to be grateful that we can have. The freedom to enjoy Christmas. Now, right, eat that as well. Everything's very green. If you're not a green lover, you may not like this one, but you can do whatever colour you like. Okay, so we'll start off with this. So, how are you all doing? Getting close to Christmas, everyone? Not long now. I'll put that up here. And then I'm going to 
Yeah. I've just refilled it so it's coming out pretty fast. You can use whatever glue you like. Glue stick is good if you've got it, but I've just run out. Now, hmm. actually, if I remember correctly, I've got to put this one on first. Oop, hope that doesn't dry. In between. This is quite a big piece. Very beautiful though. Hope you all had a, um, a bit of a sticky at at um, the Constant Rose design and what's her name? Ziggid or something like that. On the, oh, where is it? Zigit. Yeah, Zigita. S I G I T A. It's just um, just to show you, you know, how other people can do collaging and how good it looks. Zigita is very um, sort of grungy, rustic style, which I quite like, but might not, might not be everybody's style. But she does a bit of mixed media and all that, which is good. Okay. Now, oop, be careful, <gasps> be careful. Hmm. I have to have the top of that. Um, this may have to be cut off. Oh well, can't be helped. I wonder if that's still wet enough to go on. Such a shame. I wonder if you can just go like that. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No. Oh, I can still, still get the drift that it's December. Okay, and stick a little butterfly over in the corner there. Love butterflies, so pretty. Okay. Let it go on like that, like it's going to land. Okay. See how the background doesn't stand out as much now that we've got things down. Oh, quite like that. Stick that on there. That was from one of my nature books. I've got bits and pieces from everywhere. This is another way to use up um, all your book pages. I think everything here is from books, not from um, no scrapbooking pages or anything like that. For the winter one, I want to use um, Artie Mays's Digi Kit, which I've got. Um, a Winter's Tale, which is beautiful. There we go. Stick that over there like that. Beautiful. Okay, now, 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 I didn't really get around to seeing how it was all going to go, got that part, That and that was going to go in like this. Oh, that'll that'll need some of this. 
see that little bit was sort of on extra on the edge and I'm like no nah. probably going to utilize that and so that fills that little corner yeah. and then fill that up like that now this will be Christmas Day I don't really want to cover up that too much it's so pretty maybe uh, see this is why you got to plan these things ahead that can go there like that yep 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 yep, yep. Is going to be a lot of fun I think. I love sticking pictures. Okay, there we go. I'm so busy with um oh yeah, there. You have to go underneath there like that now. Well, some of it gets covered up. Um, so busy looking at it, and it's already 31 minutes. So I might have to, um, it'll just be a little bit longer, or I can do a part two. So I might just continue on, and it'll just be a little bit longer than normal video. And you can maybe pause it in between. So, okay, let's hear that. Just keep going with it. When you're doing this sort of stuff, it takes a while. I mean, this is after I've even pre-cut out lots of stuff. So it does take a bit, but it's worth it because it looks beautiful. Now, there we go. Probably can probably put that there. And then we've got a bit of room, I reckon. We can open it. That can go there. And that needs to go up. And then that goes there. And then there you see it will go there. And then it'll go there. Okay. So Christmas Day. If you guys want to make yours a little smaller, that's okay too. You don't have to go this size. You can have as big as or little as you like. Christmas Day. Now, I'm just wondering. It's one of those things that's sort of got to go underneath and on top. So I might have to do these both at the same time. Is it a bit a little bit like scrapbooking without the uh, without the pictures? This is why I love Pinterest. It was sort of like picture heaven. <clears throat> oh, hopefully, I'm loud enough. Sorry, guys. Okay. Now I get my little little lady. It's got enough on there. I'll soon find out. Okay. And a little bit. I've got the room to stick it all on, so we may as well. And once it's down, it's down. Which is not a good idea. I need to have that up a little bit. Okay. Because we're we'll tucking you underneath, girly. Not 
always easy to try and get things in. She is gorgeous. So cute. Okay. Now, we need to have a little bit more blue. There we go. Ugh. <laughs> little bits that's the thing with the glue stick you know you can go right to the edge but sometimes with this glue you miss bits okay gets very sticky looks like her hand hasn't been done Okay. Oh, glue everywhere, Sue's. Now, put that there like that. Oh, and then, where's that New Year's Eve piece? I cannot find it. Did I drop it? Wait a minute. There we go. Hopefully this is not going to take too long. I'll go like that or even maybe like that. So it hides some of that edge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do this first. Sometimes you just need little bits. Little bits. There we go. Now, as you can see on this side, it's quite white, and I just went over um, because it was from the book, the fairies book. Just went on around the outside with um, oh, was it the distress oxide because it's a bit more powdery and and um, got rid of that the light, the white look. Green finger. Okay, at least we know it sticks down. Okay, New Year's Eve, pretty important day. There we go. Ugh. This is needing more. It needs good glue down. I'm liking how this is looking. Looks rather cute. And I might maybe put it that way. Rather than having it so stark. Or that way. No, definitely that way. And then we're done. Oh. The done, done, done. So hopefully this is not massively long video, guys. Sorry. But it takes a while to do pretty stuff. Okay. On the bottom there. Do this on the corner. Oop. Knock over your stuff. There we go. And there you have it. I like it. 39 minutes, not too bad. I was hoping that it would be maybe not too long. So what we're going to do on the other side, see I've got a little bit of green there. Just cut that off. And cut that off. I've de-winged him. And we'll either go gold or brown, I think. I think I'm going to go the brown. Because we've got a lot of green and everything. So what I'll do is I'll just go brown along the edges. But I can do that off camera because it's already taken quite a while. So there you go. There is our December page. I'm rather happy with how that's turned out. That was a lot of fun and describes... December in Australia, um, but still has got a little bit.